what will happen to my remains when I die? You know, it's not exactly cocktail conversation, but you've got to address it sooner or later. Hi, everybody. I'm Elsa W. Smith, your Maryland estate planning and probate attorney. This week, I'm addressing an issue that has come up more than once while serving estate planning clients. Now, before I do, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss our videos each week. Now, there are several reasons why people may find it difficult to decide what will happen with their remains. I'm going to mention three of them here. Number one is the fear of death. Many people, quite frankly, are uncomfortable with the idea of death and may avoid thinking about it or planning for it. Number two, religious or cultural beliefs. Religious or cultural beliefs may dictate specific rituals or practices that need to be followed after death, which can also make it difficult to decide on a course of action. And number three, a lack of information. Many people may not be aware of the different options uh, that are today available for the disposition of remains. And that can also make it difficult to make an informed decision. Now, I want you to remember that deciding what will happen with your remains is a personal decision, and there is no right or wrong choice. And I certainly don't want to minimize this aspect of estate planning, but you're going to need to address it in your estate plan eventually. We help our clients with these and other estate planning issues every day. We can get you from overwhelmed to empowered through estate planning. And I want to invite you to book a free 15-minute call with a member of our team today. There's no obligation. I'm Elsa W. Smith, your Maryland estate planning and probate attorney. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.